Hey everybody, I am going to go through our expectations for language arts today. Um, first things first, I am going to read chapter six to you. Uh, you will then read chapter six to someone or make a voice recording of it. Um, and then we are going to um, read through another story and um, complete a book report on it. So we'll do that together. Okay, let's get started. Chapter six, a magnetic force. J.R., Mark, Sidney, and John learned a lot about motion by playing sports. Now it is time to clean up the sports stations. Where does the sports equipment go? Where would you find sports equipment at school? In the gym, yeah. I think they probably go in the storage area, right? So lockers are probably for the students, and I bet in the storage cupboard is where they go. There's a spot for hula hoops to hook on the, go on the hook. Basketballs can go on the cart. The students gather the equipment and carry it over to the storage room. Inside, they see a few large cabinets, ball racks, and hooks on the wall. JR lightly pulls on the door handle to the cabinet. It won't open. What do the students gather? So gather means to take everything and kind of put it in one space. What do they, what do they gather up? Yeah, all the sports equipment. JR pulls harder on the cabinet door. It opens up. There are magnets on the inside of the doors. The magnets on the doors keep the door closed. When JR pulls the door open, the magnets come apart. He knows that the force can pull the magnets apart. What happens to the magnet when he opens the door? Yeah, the magnets keep it closed. So what does he have to use to pull it harder? More force. All right. So the magnets help to keep it together. And then when you pull hard, then the magnets come apart, right? <clears throat> the magnet has two ends called poles. There is a north pole and a south pole. The north pole of one magnet will stick to the south pole of another magnet. This is how a magnet can keep a door closed. Sydney pushes the door closed and the magnets stick together. What would, oh, excuse me, would two north poles of magnets stick to each other? They wouldn't, so you need the opposite. So the opposites will go together. A north and a south can attract each other, but a north and a north cannot. Other things use magnets too. Mark uses a magnet to hang his schoolwork on his refrigerator. The door of the refrigerator is a magnet. JR sees a big crane on his way home from school. The crane has a magnet at the end that pulls and sorts objects that are magnetic. So what other things do you know that are magnets? A refrigerator, they said a crane. Think of other things in your house or things that you have seen that are magnets. The students in Mrs. Perez's class think about what they have learned. They know that motion is the way things move from place to place. An object can move at a fast or slow speed. An object can move in a high or low direction. An object can move far or a short distance, and force can change the speed, direction, or distance of an object. Mrs. Perez's gym class had fun at the sports stations. They saw many ways that motion works. Now they know that understanding motion can help them be better at sports. JR, Mark, Sydney, and John like using sports to see how objects move. So what did J.R., Mark, Sydney, and John like using to see how objects move? What did this one use? What did the soccer ball show us? Yep, force, right? Force when kicking the ball. They all use some type of force and some type of motion. Okay, these are our vocabulary words we've been working on. Your job now is to... Pause the video, make either a video recording or a voice recording, or um, contact a teacher to read to you, or excuse me, to read aloud to them. And then we're going to do one more story about um, magnets and then do a um, book report together on that. Okay, I found this book on Epic, um, and it is a book called Magnetism at Work. About magnetism Do you use a refrigerator? Have you ever used a compass? then you have used magnetism. Magnetism is a force. It is found in some metals. They pull toward each other. So even paper clips are attracted to the magnet. Scientists study magnetism. Michael Faraday was one. He experimented with magnets. 
magnets have two poles, north and south poles attract. So this is what we were talking about before. So here are the north poles and here are the south pole. So these attract each other. So the north and the south, they kind of connect. But if you put two magnets that are the same toward each other, they will not. They repel. Two north poles repel. So do two south poles. So these are opposite, right? So they attract. But look, these, when it's blue and blue, these are both south. And so if you push them together, they repel each other. So they will not touch. A magnet's force surrounds it. This area is called the magnetic field. Metals move toward it. People can create magnetic fields. They make magnets too. They can use them in many ways. So here, is our, here are some magnets on a refrigerator. Here are some, um, this is a large strip of a magnet, and then these knives are magnetic, so they can stick to them. Magnets are used in TVs too. They are used, oh, excuse me, used in TVs. They are used in motors too. Some cranes have use huge magnets to lift heavy objects. So this crane, this is a gigantic magnet. Jen sticks magnets to a refrigerator. The refrigerator also has a magnet in its door. It holds the door shut. Did you know that that was what was keeping it closed? Mason has a compass. Its needle is a magnet. It moves toward metals in the earth. Think about it. Look around. Where else is magnetism at work and how do you use it? Okay, so I'm going to stop this and we're going to go back to our book report. Okay, the first part of our book report is to decide what kind of book it was. Uh, remember, we are deciding between fiction or nonfiction. Fiction is a pretend story or made up, and nonfiction is a real story. So if we're talking about magnets, which one do you think it is? Yeah, it's real. So this text says fiction. I'm going to go ahead and skip to my next one here. And this one says nonfiction. So I'm going to put my name up at the top and start right here. So I read about, what did we learn? What would we, did we read about? Magnetism, right? So I read about magnetism. Who or what? was in this book. I'm going to say magnets, because magnets were in this story. There were a lot of other things in this story, like refrigerators and cranes and um, things like that, but really the main component, the main idea of this book was about magnets. Okay, three things that happened in the book. What did we, what did we learn about? There are magnets in what? What are there magnets in? And refrigerators, nice. Refridge, oops, let me spell that right. Refrigerators, okay. What is it called when, magnet, when magnets come together? Magnets attract. Nice job. So I'm going to also put in here, if they are opposite right? Because it said north and south. So what is it called if two north magnets come together? If two north magnet, north, northern pole magnets are pushed together, what happened? Yeah, they don't go together. They won't stick together. They repel. Ah, darn it. So let, I have to change my sentence because it's too long. Two northern pole magnets repel. And you can decide if you liked it or didn't like it. I like that one. That's a good book. Liked it. So that concludes our language art assignment for today. Um, once you've kind of reviewed and looked to see what you need to do, uh, go ahead and you can send an email if you need any help or um, a teacher can email you and set up a Google Meet or we can just do all of it together, which was to it's totally fine too. So I will talk to you soon. Keep working hard.